In this session, we'll try to understand what is the difference between an apex method and a constructor. Let us get started. Just to save some time, I have already created a Visual Force page and I tried hooking up this Visual Force page to an apex class. And now I'll try to create a apex command button and I'll try to hook this button to an apex method. Let me try to do it quickly. So I have apex form tag within which I'll make use of apex command button. And the attributes I'll be making use are action for which I'll give some value. And in the back end, I need to create an apex method. And the next attribute is value to which I need to give the text that should be appeared on the button. And then the next attribute is ID. ID is nothing but an identifier. So now in the apex class, I'll try to create an apex method. Let me put a debug statement there. I'll save it and let us test it. When I click on save button, a message should have been logged in the log messages. There you go. We have it here. So basically, an apex method is nothing but a piece of code that can be executed when a user clicks on a button or a link. So this method doesn't get invoked automatically. There has to be a human input based on which this method gets invoked. And now let us look at what is a constructor. Constructor is very much similar to an apex method with few small changes and differences. Let us look at what they are. One of the major differences is just like how an apex method gets invoked when user clicks on a button or a link, constructor invokes the moment the apex class loads. So it is loaded automatically. There is no need for the user to click on a button or a link and so on. And if you look at this syntax, in a way it is very much similar to the syntax of an apex method with a small change so the basic syntax is access specifier which is public and a constructor will never ever have a return type so we don't have to explicitly mention something called void and then followed by the access specifier we need to give the name of the constructor and the name of the constructor will always be same as that of the name of the class it is a mandate thing whereas in an apex method the name of the method can be anything and followed by the name of the constructor which is nothing but the name of the class we need to make use of parentheses and then curly braces let me try to put a debug statement here. Let me save it. So we have the Visual Force page here. The moment Visual Force page loads, the class associated with this particular Visual Force page will be loaded and automatically the constructor will be invoked. Let us test it. So page loads. And now let us go back to the debug logs. There you go. We can see a debug message which is this is a constructor. That is because we have page loaded and the associated controller also loaded and the constructor associated with this particular controller or apex class will be invoked automatically now let us go back to the visual force page and let me click on this button that is when an apex method will be invoked let us check the debug logs there you go now the apex method is invoked so just like how i have mentioned earlier a constructor will not have any written type meaning it will not be able to return any value once after the constructor is invoked and also a constructor will be invoked the moment an apex class is initialized and what if i want to invoke an apex method the moment visual force page loads so the way i deal with this is i'll make use of action attribute in association with apex page tag and to action attribute i'll assign the name of an apex method let us go ahead and test it So the visual force page loads. Let me open up the debug logs. We can see that there are two debug statements. One debug statement which is associated with the constructor and the second debug statement which is associated with an apex method. So the moment visual force page loads, the class which is associated with this particular VF page gets initialized. And the moment the class gets initialized, the constructor gets invoked. Post which we have also associated action attribute with visual force page. Hence, it goes ahead and it also invokes an apex method. But if you look at the order of execution, first constructor gets invoked. It's only then the apex method gets invoked. So this is the basic difference between apex method and a constructor. So that's all for this session. I'll call it a day and stay tuned.